Well, you stated in the first conference in LA that Earl Spence is a good fighter. Y'all both good fighters, but you do, you feel like you do everything better. Than him. Can you define that for me? Well, like I've said, you know, a lot of things that he does actually remind me of myself. It's almost like a mirror. He does everything well. He's got good footwork, good distance uh, management, good uh, timing. Um, he, he fights in a similar way to the way I fight for the reason. But I feel that I just do everything just a little bit better. I do believe I have a little better footwork. I have better timing. I have better distance management. I have better speed. The only thing that's still unknown is, is the power. You know, naturally he is a bigger guy, so I gotta probably give that to him. But we'll find out, you know, on fight night, if my power is enough for him to respect, if my power is enough to hurt him. You know, and if it's not, that's okay, because there's still a lot of other things that I can do to win. You know, boxing isn't just one on, on power. You know, the strongest man doesn't just always win. You know, there's a lot that goes into you know, uh, fighting and, and, and boxing and I, I believe I have everything that it takes to, to beat him. The ability to be able to fight at 135, 140, 147, you're set up for three-way divisions regardless I, of what happens March 16. I, I never thought I'd be fighting in these divisions. I always thought I'd be, you know, a, a lightweight at most, but I have confidence in my abilities, my boxing skills, my speed, my timing, my reflex, defense, you know, I got, I got a lot of uh, tools in my arsenal that, that will allow me to compete at higher weight classes. Um, and, and that's why I'm able to do it. And I'm glad I can do that because I also have a uh, larger pool of fighters to choose as opponents. And I can actually go for the biggest challenge available, not just in one weight class, but several weight classes. So that, that makes things you know easier for me to be able to accomplish what I'm accomplishing, go after legacy, dare to be great, all that, because I can move up and down in weight classes. And I'm just very happy that I can do that and that I have the, the opponents available, that I'm, I have the right people working together, that I have the network, that I have the promoters, that I have the managers willing to work with me without any signatures, without any long-term commitments, which I mean, allows me to do exactly what I'm doing, you know, and, and pick the fights that I really, really want. Hey, Mike, Mike, you do you have any help with his training camp experiences? Well, I, I, I told uh, Mr. Jones, he asked me, you know, if, if when I was 10 or 12, did I, did I ever go to camp? Yeah, but I, mean, I was in the stands, you know, I didn't get a chance to be down there. Um, you know, we, we were just kids, and, you know, being that they're not sure, so I, I stopped by, I think I was probably like 12, you know, when that happened a couple times and um, it wasn't until two years ago that I was there again um, I had just fought Adrian Broner so actually some people had you know, seen the fight and some of the players had seen it you know, or had heard about it so they kind of knew and some of the guys that were working at the at, at camp were fans of mine and they saw me and they invited me to come down on the field and say hello and take some photos so that really turned around and now look, now we're here and I'm fighting in the stadium and their home. It's like, it's unbelievable. It really is. It's, it's, it's like, like if, if it was a dream, it, I, I, I wouldn't know if, if it was, you know, if I was still be dreaming right now, you know. It's that kind of experience, that kind of feeling. And right now, like I said, we're in here for the promotion, so this, there's still a lot more to, to see. I mean, come on. This, this is just a beautiful, beautiful uh, stadium, man. Um, to be part of, of what we're doing, you know, the fight deserves a, a, a stadium like this. This type of fight deserves it, so I'm very happy that we were able to land this here and that you know, Mr. Jones was you know, more than willing, more than happy to be part of this event. And um, maybe after the fight, I can get a, a private tour and, and, and see all the the, the, the stadium for it, for itself. Mike, did you ever think this was possible when you fought at, uh, at American Airlines Center against um, Lopez yeah, like yeah. five years ago? And that was kind of like your coming out party. That was, that was a, a big fight back then for me. That was the, the biggest fight there, you know. And, um, you know, after that, you know, I had to take a layoff the year after. And, I mean, whatever, you know, things happen. But after I came back, you know, we've been trying to get the biggest fights. You know, the bigger the fight, the bigger the, the arena, you know. And this type of fight, like I keep saying, you know, it deserves this type of attention. It deserves this type of atmosphere. And what better place than, than here, you know, at and Stadium with the Cowboys, you know, and being that they train in Oxnard, I'm from Oxnard, you know, Daryl's, uh, you know, Arrow's here in, in, in Dallas, and what else can we ask for? I mean, this is just great. People ask me all the time, you know, do I feel any different thinking that I'm coming to his hometown? I don't feel like I'm going to anybody's town. This is my home too. I mean, you know, we're associated with the Cowboys just as, as, as much as, you know, he is, and I have fans everywhere. So I, I know I'm gonna have a big support. I'm gonna have a lot of fans show up here, and um, you know, 
know, he's gonna have all his fans. I'm gonna have my fans, and you know, boxing fans are gonna be here. You know, not necessarily fans of either one of us, but if you're a boxing fan, you're gonna be here on, on, on fight night. This is not a fight that you wanna miss. This is the fight that doesn't happen often. This is one of those. Remember when? You know, that's kind of that fight. Remember when? Mikey fought Errol. Remember when? That's that's that that fight. You know, two world champions, pound for pound fighters, undefeated at their prime, fighting each other. You don't get that often, so I'm very happy. Like I said, I'm very excited for it, and this fight deserves to be here. Uh, it deserves all the attention. It deserves exactly this type of buildup. How's it feel to, vote, to basically photo yourself and like with the whole top race stuff and get rewarded? Because basically, you bet it on yourself. You went look. to Vegas Garcia style. <laughs> and you rolled you roll sevens. Look, look. Um, you know, it was tough times during that layoff. You know, uncertainties. You know. A little bit of uh, doubt sometimes and and worriness, but uh, I tell people, you know, it was, was kind of like some might have thought that they were holding me back and just, you know, letting me sit on sidelines and that I would just be forgotten. What they didn't know is that it, it was more like like a slingshot effect because when I let go, I flew right past everybody that was in front of me, and now they're looking forward, you know, they're they're looking in front of you know themselves, and I, they're behind me, you know. But I ain't looking back. I'm, I'm, I'm still moving forward. And now every fight is bigger. Every fight is is, is bigger than the last one. Um, doing things that no one else is doing. Other fighters aren't able to do what I'm doing. You know, and and it's just a great feeling that I was able to overcome that challenge. You know, uh, that layoff. But look, look at where we're at now, and look at where everybody else is at. You know, look at the fights that I'm after, the fights that I'm doing, putting together, where I'm fighting, and look at where other fighters are, are at. You know, it's, it's pretty, pretty damn cool.